welcome back to our stylish Niger YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for your love, for your support. I appreciate each and every one of you that have supported my YouTube channel. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew an off shoulder strap sleeve. So you can just see the picture up there. That's what we're going to learn how to cut and sew today. And attach, I'll show you how to go about it. So if you are new to the channel you are highly and very welcome like i said if you have not subscribed please subscribe if you find this video helpful please like this video share this video with your friends and then if you want to register for my online classes you can just see my number scrolling through the screen send me a message on whatsapp i'll give you the details of the classes we have available okay so this is the fabric i'm going to be using it is a taffeta fabric and i have about two yards of this fabric so now let's just get started Okay, so now we're going to cut out the sleeve. So since I, the sleeve, I'm just going to attach it a little bit. I'm going to measure. So I'm going to make, just fix it just a little bit around here. So just about six inches. So I'll show you how to go about that. So this is the sleeve. So I folded it this into four. I'm going to double the fabric though. So the next thing, if you notice the top of the strap, it does not really have much pleats on it. So for mine, I'm going to add a little pleats since it is an off shoulder pleat. So I'm going to make that top part 10 inches. So when I I just, um, when I pleat, it's going to come to about 6 inches. So I just made it 10. And then from this 10 inches, I'm going to measure the length of the sleeve. So this is the start of, and then the length of my sleeve, because it is a puff sleeve, so you reach, as in, when you put the band, you fold it up. So I'm going to use the 27, that's what I have here at the down part of my sleeve. So that 27 at the end of the day is going to be about 25, because I'm going to use this one to fix, I'll use the remaining two inches, one inch to fix on top, and then one inch at the down part. So it depends on how wide I want my puff to be on this down part. So for this down part, I'm going to use, it should not be too big. So I'm going to use about 17 inches. So from that 17 inches, that's what I'm going to use for the wideness. So remember the 3 inches we measured just now, that was 6 inches. So you bring it back. Our sleeve, the round of the sleeve is 9. So I'll just mark 9. So that's the remaining 3 inches, 1, 2, 3. And then I'll cuff this like this, just a little shallow curve. And then from here, I'm just going to do this, just bring this to this point. So this is how the sleeve is going to look like. So this part is going to be both, and then this part is going to be the top part. So I'll cut this out now, and then I'll show you how to stitch it. So I'm going to explain how we are going to stitch this leaf just before we go over to the, our machine to stitch. So the strap that I want for this leaf, you notice that top part, the strap, I want mine to be about 8 inches, which is 16. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to measure this part like this. I'll just place my tape here. And then I will just leave a little bit of like half of a quarter of an inch. Then I'm going to mark 8 inches here. So that's the 8 inches. And then this part, I'll just put a notch on that point like that. And then I'll take this back to my machine for us to go and stitch you out. So, so this part, I'm going to fold this part just like tiny bits. And then I cut out a strap. So this strap is more than 18 inches. Okay, so it's about 19 inches. I know what I want here is 16 inches. That's 8 inches. So the width of the strap is about 2 inches. So you can see. So we we'll use this for the top. And then for the band at the down part. So I'm going to use this fabric for the down part. So I cut out a piece of fabric. Which is about 6 inches wide. And then I'll fold it into two. So it's going to give me about 3 inches. And then the width is about 12, which is long, uh, actually longer than the wrist. So for the wrist, I'm going to be needing about 10 inches. So I'll go, we'll go back to our sewing machine and then we'll go and stitch it. I'll show you how to finish the off-shoulder part of the sleeve. 
Okay, so I'd like to start. I'd like to start stitching now. So I'm going to start with the top part. So on the top part, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take that part that we that we marked, that we added that notch to, to fold it together. Okay, so I have I've done the things. Okay, so just remaining one. I still wanted to just show. So that's how it is done. So I'm going to measure to make sure that I have my 16 inches. So you can say I have about 16 and a half, which is just okay. And then I'll cut this off now. And then I'm going to use cover it with the strap so this is how you go about that i'll place the strap here on top like this and then i will stitch I'll open it up like this. I'll just cut off my excess and then I'll take this like this. I'll fold this once like this and then I'll fold this so you can see what I'm doing. You fold it two and then you need a very stable hand to do this right now so that your strap okay and then you need to give it the tiny stitch and the thread up that's removed okay very annoying something i'll just do it okay so now let's continue okay, try as much as you can so you can see how neat it is make sure that your hands are stable and then you fold it in nicely. Okay, so you can see how neat it is. Okay, so the next thing now. We're going to continue with the down part of our sleeves. So what I'm going to do for the down part, I'm going to use this as a guide. So like I said, I need about 9 inches. It's less than, I really don't need up to 10 inches for that wrist area. So I need about 9, 5.9, sorry, I said 5.9, I need about 9 inches do that so here's what i'm going to do i'm trying to mark to get my nine inches so i just want to know where i'm going to start making my pleats from so i'm going to mark this point like this and then mark this point just left one inch outside of it okay so I'm going to start stitching now. So just watch. I'm going to take. So this is the right side. I need to check properly. So I don't do the, the wrong part of my of my sleeve. So this is the right side of my of my job. Okay, you know I can actually choose any part for it. I'm so I'll use this side as the right side. So I'll take the right side like this and then I'm going to start pleating. So before I start pleating, I'm going to I'm going to stitch from here to here, make it straight first before I start the pleating the pleats. So I'm just going to stitch like that a little bit and then I'm going to start pleating my sleeve. So the sleeves are not really going to be tiny, they're going to be big and bold.
much as I please, I'll check what I have. I'll just keep creating the plate and using the cards. So once I get to this point, so you can see, I have just about one inch or two inches to the end. I will not pleat that part. I'm just going to leave it. And then I will just stitch it like this. Okay, so you can see. This is a simple process, so you can see how beautiful it is looking. The next thing, I'm going to join my sleeve like this. I'm going to join my sleeve like this, and then I'll measure my wrist. So, like I said, I said I'm using about nine inches, which is about four point five. So I'm just going to mark it here like this on that part, and then I'm going to start stitching. So I'll stitch once I get to the wrist, but I'll make sure that the, the cuffs that they are the same. You don't want to want to hang it up. Okay. And then I'll continue to my sleeve to the end. So once I come towards this end, I'm going to measure what I have here, like this. You know, this is the strap. I'll make sure I make sure that I have my eight inches. You understand? So that's my eight inches now. So because I'm so now since I have my eight inches here, I have a little bit of excess. I'm going to try and take out that excess from this down part. I'm just trying to shorten that part now. So to take that out from that part. So as you can see, I have about 8 inches here. So on this down part, I'm going to measure 3 inches. So that 3 inches is going to start from that point where it's going to stop that 8 inches I was telling you now. I'll mark to this point like this and then I'll mark here. So I'm literally now, I'm going to stitch to this point. So I'll have 3 inches from here. To here. So I've done that. I'm going to go now to my table and then show you how it looks like. Okay, guys, so at the end of the day, you can see how our off shoulder sleeve looks like. So you can see it came out well. So I just had to use pins to attach it a little bit around here. So when you person puts it on their shoulder will just like suspend it like this and then it's going to look like this so make sure you measure the person's um, strap you can just place your tape here to the other end so this it came out really fine so if you find this video helpful please hit on the like button and if you have not subscribed already to my channel subscribe thank you so much i'll see you in my next video